Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. We're going to do a construction project today, and we're going to construct a gravity-fed water filtration system. I have here, right now, in front of me, all the items that we'll need. You'll need two five-gallon buckets. I have one here and one here. I chose two different colors as I want the bottom one, the bottom bucket that's going to hold the clean water. I wanted some type of measurement system on it so I know how much water I have in the bucket and I could see through it. So that's my bottom bucket. This is going to be my top bucket where the filtration system is installed. This is the filter. It's a ceramic filter from Amazon.com. I'll give you guys the link uh, for that. This is the sock that goes over it. Um, this is the spigot that the set comes with that'll be installed on the bottom bucket. Tools that you'll need a cordless drill or electric drill you'll need a 5 8 inch uh, bit, a 3 quarter inch bit and a 1 16th inch bit uh, for your drill. You'll need the instructions of course for the uh, project um, that come with the filter system. You'll need a ruler and a pencil and I think that's about it. Um, I'm just waiting for my battery to charge on my drill because it was not charged and then we're going to get started uh, drilling our holes, installing our filter and showing you what this system um, costs to put together. Very inexpensive and it can be and will be a lifesaver in, in the event that you do need uh, to filter water from a local river or lake or wherever in the time of a WROL, a SHTF or just a time where there's a natural disaster, the water is down and you need to filter um, and make yourself clean water. Alright guys, I have the um, top bucket that's going to hold the dirty water here. The lid that goes on the bottom bucket or the clean water bucket I'm putting together here and I'm going to drill a 5 8 inch hole as per the directions through this lid and the bottom of the dirty water bucket and that's where the filter system is going to be installed and so these two pieces will be together so I'm just putting them together now and I'm going to get ready to drill okay my bit fell out but my drill bit my drill hole is complete as I'll show you There you see it, 5 8 inch hole drilled through. Here's our filter with one washer, the nut with the other washer. We're going to put the filter through the top bucket just like this. Then we're going to attach the lid just like this going to put the washer on, the second washer on the lid and tighten our bolt I'm not going to over tighten and there is our filter installed in the bottom of the bucket. There's our lid that goes on the top bucket with the spigot where the water is going to drip through right here into the second bucket. Very easy and simple to do. Now we'll drill the hole for the spigot in the bottom Alright guys, my next attachment is a three quarter inch bit. You have to measure two inches up on your bottom bucket from the bottom of the bucket I just measured up two inches put a little dot with my pencil and that is where I'm gonna drill the hole for the spigot and it's a three quarter inch hole and then we're gonna install our spigot assembly okay guys there you go three quarter inch hole 
two inches from the bottom of the bucket. Let's install our spigot. Alright guys, now we're going to install the spigot. Here's our spigot. We put one of the washers on the spigot. Here's our hole. Okay, there's our spigot installed in the front. We'll take our second washer, put that on the inside of the bucket. Through the threads. And then we have our nut that we'll tighten down. Get this tightened down. And there you go. Spigots installed. Give you a shot inside, if you can see it. Right here. Okay, now we will show you the finished product. The last thing it asked was for venting holes to be drilled with a um, 1 16th bit, which is right here. And I drilled those into both the top uh, right here, hard to see it in this bucket, but there's a hole right here, and I drilled one in the bottom bucket, the clean water bucket, one sixteenth venting hole. Hey guys, here's a shot of the top bucket with the filter installed. Uh, there's also a sock that comes with it. It's right here. Goes on top of the filter like that. And then there's a rubber band you take and you put around that sock to hold it onto the filter. And so let's take a look at the completed unit. Lift it up. There's my bottom bucket with the spigot installed. There's the top bucket. And then I have a lid for the top bucket. Uh, once I have my water inside, keep the lid on from anything else to get back in there. And there you have it, a gravity filtration system. Uh, and again, guys, I'll post a link on what type of filter this is. It's a ceramic filter. Um, I purchased it on Amazon.com. It's got charcoal uh, inside of it. I think it says it lasts for uh, about a year, depending on the turbidity of the water. And again, um, can be washed, uh, cleaned off, and then uh, put back on. Uh, very good investment, guys. If you're going to um, add to your water preps, you have to be able to filter water. And this is one of uh, kind of a DIY, DIY uh, system. And if you have any questions or comments, I know there's several websites, excuse me, several YouTube channels that have uh, built... Uh, these types of filters I needed to do one and so um, I put this one together and I'm probably going to put another one together as well I'm going to have at least two of these units in standby mode all right thanks for joining me send me your questions and comments Anthony signing off all right guys there's clean water in the bucket and let's see if our little spigot works Yes, it does.